In this video, I'm going to be showing you how the Universal Audio Apollo tracks with plugins in real time. I'm going to show this on a guitar track and a bass track, and then later on, I'm going to have a little session open with a few different instruments in, and I'm going to do some mixing with the Apollo, just so you can hear what the plugs sound like and how good the converters are and everything like that. First of all, I'm going to briefly take you through the equipment I'm going to be using in this session. Uh, first off, obviously, I'm going to be using the Apollo. Uh, on top of the Apollo there is a BAE 1073. It's based on a Neve preamp, a 1073. I won't be using the Apollo's preamps in this session at all, but rest assured they sound really, really good. Uh, I just love the BAE 1073, that's all. For amplification, I'm going to be using the Mesa Boogie 525 Express, which is running into a Palmer PDI-03 speaker simulator. For the electric guitars, I'm going to be using a Fender P-Bass and a Fender Telecaster. And I'll also be using this Martin acoustic guitar in the mix at the end of the video. The bass guitar sounds you'll hear will have been tracked through this A-Designs Ready DI box. And the acoustic guitar you'll hear in the mix at the end will have been recorded with this SE Gemini mic. So here we see the Logic session, the console and the four plugs I'm going to be using. Here's the dry signal or the guitar. I'm now going to add the EMT 140 plate plugin. And I'm going to switch over to the C plate and I've set it up for a more reserved sound. Back to the A plate, and now I'm going to turn on the Neve 1073, which is set up for some brightness. Right, now uh, on to the Echoplex plugin, and I've set this up for a quite long repeat, but quite low in the mix. Now some single notes. Cool, now I'm going to add the tape, the Studer tape machine. And I'll AB it now, I'll turn it off so you can hear the difference. And back on. Right, now moving on to some bass guitar, I've got some slightly different plugs. Uh, so first off, just the dry signal. Now the 1176, set for some gentle compression. I'm going to add the Manly Massive Passive EQ, which is set for a kind of bass boost. And now the Studer again, but this time set up slightly differently. Finally, I'm going to add the Roland Dimension D plug, and it's just set for some chorus. Now I'm 
Now I'm going to use some of these plugs in a full mix. So I used a few extra plugs on the mastering channel. I used the uh, Ampex mastering tape machine, which is fantastic. I used the Precision Limiter uh, plug-in. And the drums that you heard on that were provided by BFD2. And I put a couple extra plugs on there. I think a Studer tape machine and 1073 set to drum enhance. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And it showed you just how versatile the Apollo really is.